why your DNA is not your destiny. New emerging science of nutrigenomics, means how nutrition can change function of your gene, clearly shows it's not just about having a good gene or bad gene. It's also about making good or bad nutrition and lifestyle choices. If you look at your DNA, imagine this yellow part, this is your DNA, your gene. In the past, we thought everything is happening within the DNA itself. New research shows clearly is not the case. The now they notice that every DNA has a chemical tag on it. It's called epigenome, means above the gene. These chemical tags actually sit on the DNA itself. Now they notice that actually these chemical tags are the command center. These are the ones actually operating your gene. These are the ones telling your gene what to do, how to do, and when to do it. This is the command center telling the gene turn on or turn off diabetes gene, heart disease gene, or cancer gene. Although nutrition lifestyle cannot change sequence of your genes, that's set for life. Very interesting that you should know that however nutrition lifestyle changes can change these chemical tags on the gene. As a result, you can change function of your gene through the nutrition and lifestyle changes. Give you an example, for example, last night you had a triple cheeseburgers, large fries, and a can of a pop. In just a matter of few hours, you activate the gene called DAF3, releases this protein. This is actually facilitates aging in your body, aging of your brain cell to skin cell, increases your blood pressure, increases your cholesterol, cause inflammation in your body and increase risk of heart disease and diabetes. And it lasts 17 days. You know, you had last night another food choices. You had, for example, two cups of a whole wheat pasta, four cups of a steamed vegetable, piece of a fish, piece of a chicken, or a fresh fruit above it on top of that. And it's just a matter of four hours, you activate another gene called DAF16, which releases this protein, which is actually anti-aging. You wake up tomorrow younger than yesterday. It's biological age, lowers your blood pressure, lowers your cholesterol, blood pressure, and it lasts 17 days. So it's not just about having a good gene or bad gene. The type of nutrition you're consuming is going to make a difference that you activate bad gene and put yourself at risk of multiple medical problems or activate this gene and actually prevent your disease, these diseases from happening. Give you an example about another example how this works. If you look at the identical twins, they are genetically copy of each other, so there's no genetic differences. However, one twin lives in the United States and one lives in Japan. Because of the type of the diet and environment that twin in, uh, in the United States have, has more than three to four fold increased risk for diabetes, heart disease, and cancer compared to the twin that lives in Japan. Why the nature of the diet we consume activate the gene for heart disease and cancer. In Japan, nature of the diet you're consuming actually silences the, those genes, turns off those genes. So it's not again about having bad gene or good gene, also what type of nutrition you're selecting. Another good example, they looked at the pregnant mothers, they noticed that when they consume too much sugar during the pregnancy, they actually activated the obesity gene in baby before baby was even born. They followed these kids by age six, seven, a significant percent of them were either overweight and obese. And they came back to their mothers, is interesting enough, all of them following the same type of diet, high processed sugar. It seems actually baby senses what the mother is eating and genetically prepares itself to the environment that it's going to be born into. Now they are saying not only you are what you eat, we are also what your mother ate and also what your mother didn't eat. So it's not just about having, again, a bad gene or a good gene. What the nutrition you're consuming, especially during the pregnancy, can have a complete impact on the type of the gene and activity of gene in lifetime of that baby. The reality is DNA is not your destiny. You have the power through the nutrition and lifestyle changes to change the function of your gene in your body and at the same time change your destiny. Thank you.